Hello everyone, this is Sun Zhao. In this video, I'm going to talk about the COVID-19 pandemic of the state of Louisiana. The video will include the background, the prediction model, the results, and the discussion about the COVID-19. Here are some numbers about COVID-19 virus in the state of Louisiana, summary at April 7th. The total infected number is 16,284. The total tested cases is 74,655, and the total deaths is 582. The reason that I'm focused on the state of Louisiana is that after I look at the death rate, I found that the Louisiana death rate is actually higher than the U.S. average. So the Louisiana death rate is 3.6%, and the war is 5.7%, and the U.S. is 3.2%. So based on the infection data I have, I'm going to build up a mathematical model based on the point process method to predict the number of the infection in the future. Here is a mathematical model of the prediction. Use Poisson approximation to assume the number of people infected by a person who is infected on the day T. R value is effective infection number. The maximum likelihood estimation is applied to determine R value. The flowchart of the model is get the raw data first, then set up the maximum infection days to 14, and set up the random imported cases, then apply everything to the mathematical model we built already, then plot the data and gather the final result. The first graph here shows the number of infected cases versus the days since the start of infection of the state of Louisiana. The blue line in the graph is a prediction based on the mathematical model and the red line is a plot of the real data. You can see that the prediction line follows the trend of real data very well, and it fits as well. In this graph, it shows the prediction one more day than the graph shows earlier. You can see that it still follows the same trend, but the value is too high of the prediction. In this graph, it shows the comparison between predicted death cases and real death cases in Louisiana. You can see the trend of two lines are very similar, but there is huge variance too. I think the reason cause of variance is that there are many other key parameters which are not considered in the mathematical model. In this graph, it shows the number of deaths caused by the COVID-19 in the state of Louisiana versus the day since the start of infection. Now I want to talk about some other key parameters that can improve the mathematical model significantly. In the first few weeks, the COVID-19 test results do not come back at the same day. This will input the better raw data to the model, which will reduce the accuracy to the whole system. Second is the test availability. This is very important because if you don't do tests, there's no positive cases at all. If you can only do 2,000 cases per day, what if there is much higher demand? So we need to make sure that the test availability is high enough to make sure the data is accurate. Government instruction need to be considered at will. So starting from the certain day, such as a stay-home order, uh, follow the social distance, and wear masks, this will all lower the infection probability significantly. Medical availability is a key parameter to death rate prediction model. A big infection area such as New York, New Orleans, once their medical availability reaches to their maximum point, then they do not have enough resources for medical treatment for injured patients. This will increase the death rate immediately. In this video, it shows a COVID-19 prediction model and the infection results, death rate results comparison. Also, future improvements for the mathematical model is discussed as well. Hopefully, the world will recover from the COVID-19 soon, and please keep safe. Thank you.